Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be going over some hard mode dungeons, uh, this one specifically will be T2, and I think I'm just going to do one at a time, um, that way I can kind of fully go over the dungeon, what to expect, what to do, blah 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 blah. Uh, I'm going to be joined with my friend Zesty here, um, leader of the Bloodstone Pub, so let's go ahead and get right to it. So first things first, I'm going to come on down here and get a key. Again, if you guys don't have keys, you can buy them here. Um, so I'm just going to buy number one, the spawning nest. Go ahead and buy that one. Um, we'll be using harbs for this. And then, of course, if you don't have, let's see, which one of these can I use? If you don't have the bloodstone to buy keys, you just go to tier nine, go over to crafting materials, and then all the keys are right there. This is the recipe in case you need it. Um, just that's 1,000 silver, one skeleton key. Skeleton keys you can get from T8 or any other hard mode dungeon. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be using a little dinky little bow here, uh, deprecated, it has melee shot. You can see it doesn't shoot very far. Um, I was actually just testing out something and it, it did not work. So, <laughs> so instead I have this dinky little bow. Uh, let me go ahead and type, okay, I think he knows we're good to go. I was going to type in chat, but it's a little bit funky now. I can't just hit enter. So this is in the tree. I'm going to run over here to T1, ping it for him. Do, 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 do. So here's, uh, I just said number one. It's actually number two. There is no number one. There's no T1 hard mode, because that would just be silly. So going right into it. So this dungeon's pretty quick. Um, you can see we have two paths right off the beginning here. Um, often I do this one for, for if you watch watched my silver farming video, you kind of saw that. I do this one a lot and that's just because it I often don't even run into dead ends but you can kind of see that there are a lot of little guys um, because we're pretty pretty good harbs we can just take everything out um, but I just like to watch my map a lot see like I can tell there's nothing here um, but the biggest thing to watch out for this dungeon is there's a lot of little guys and those bullets will add up if you get hit by a lot of them we're taking it out pretty easy with with harb but a lot of times me and my friends will just sprint through here and one of the dangers of sprinting through is if you're if you're like five meters behind someone you'll get hit by all their bullets like everything will target them they'll run past it and hit you so just be careful about trailing that's the number one danger in this in this dungeon is like see where he is right now if he were to sprint through and I follow him at that distance away I would get hit by all the bullets shooting at him um, because like I said, I don't, I don't even kill the stuff in here normally, but I'm just kind of showing you. I'm kind of, kind of spread out, show you the kind of the mobs in here. The biggest danger really is the little guys and, and getting hit by every single one of their little shots. So by killing everything, you, you go a little bit safer. Um, and it's, it's definitely doable. You just, if you're not clearing, you got to be safe. Don't, don't trail someone. You know, wait, wait for them to go by and then you go by. So once you get to the boss room, you can see it's kind of boxed in here, and uh, just uh, I think we're fine. I think we're just gonna go for it. I'll explain everything as we go ahead. Type in ready. See, I can't even hit enter. I gotta go over it. It's end right now. So you'll see this guy's invincible at first, then he wakes up. You can see how he shoots kind of in just like a spread motion, right? So you're basically just dodging everything. And I'm doing a little bit less damage just just so we can see all the phases. I'm not even hitting him right now. You see how uh, that's not even hitting him. So once he goes invincible, he'll summon these ads right there, and they'll eventually stop. He also shoots out this poison, so don't stand in this. Um, so when he goes invincible like that, he shoots out those ads. Kill the ads because if they hit you, they'll debuff you, and everything will deal even more damage. Perfect. So we dropped him after one invincibility phase. Sometimes you have to look for the loot bag. Often it'll spawn like up here and stuff like that. Um, so you got to go run, grab it. Um, but yeah, just be careful because there's also like tar right here um, or resin rather. And if you stand in this for too long, you, you can see it. You'll start to tick damage. I'll stand in it for a little bit for you guys to see. Get close to the edge and, and ready because if I lag at the wrong time, I'll just jump from like here to <laughs> to there. <laughs> See how it starts ticking and it ticks for double each time, or not double, but more and more and more. So you gotta watch out for that. Um, 
Again, the adds will shoot uh, like a single shot at you. If it hits you, it'll make it so you take extra damage. So um, if you have time, quickly kill those adds and then go back to the boss. Um, and once you kill the boss, everything disappears. So yeah, that's, that's basically this dungeon. I would say the number one danger in getting here is trailing. Don't trail someone. Um, if you are going to rush through it, wait until they run through and then go through yourself. Um, because often if you have enough swiftness you can just run past everything if you can find the the exit really quickly so go ahead and do that um, try not to trail once you get here just try and get the boss down as fast as possible when he becomes invincible um, right before that he shoots the poison you, you can rewind and see it he shot it over here so don't stand in that because that'll hurt you um, and then run around try and kill the ads real quick after you kill the ads go right back to the boss um, if you're a stronger group, you can sometimes just ignore the ads. Uh, in fact, if you're really strong, you can kill the boss before he even becomes invincible. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this dungeon, let me know. Um, you do get, let me show the relic that you get. You get this one right here. So this one's for max energy. Uh, and as you saw, I believe I got an item too. So uh, this is my preferred dungeon for like silver farming. Uh, that's actually in a separate video. So you guys can watch that if you want. But as always, if you have any questions, post down below. I'm posting three Discord links down below. One for, for Zesty's Discord as well, um, the guy that was just in here with me. So go ahead and join that Discord. It's a super great resource. I even have some of my videos posted up in, in his Discord. So go there, join them. Great resource. Uh, also, we have Cephos. He's down below as well. Um, his Discord and his Twitch is linked down there. Great, great resource. Go ahead and drop him a follow on Twitch. That way you can uh, watch him, ask him questions. Definitely a great resource. So uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, as always, like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll hopefully see you guys in another video.